There's a pretty interesting amount of backstory to this weirdo. By the way, this butthead did not have, did not come equipped with a silhouette, which really sucks because I can see about 1,200 different ways this could have been Rock Howard. This guy could have been Rock Howard so many, like 16 times before we knew he was a Cronenberg. Kind of an interesting uh, backstory. And I, I don't think I understand the full legality of the backstory of Cronin here, this weird guy. So here's the thing. This weird guy has been been two other weird guys in the history of KOF from my layman's understanding. My understanding is that in some old KOF games, either it was like KOF 2000 or 2002, they had a absolutely unapologetic ripoff character of Tetsuo from Akira. There was this character called K- 9999. The usual thing that people call him is K49s. He just did moves that were aggressively similar to what Tetsuo does in Akira, right? And then the animated, absolute animated classic Akira. Even myself at the time in the 2000s, when I wasn't a super big KOF fan, I remember looking at this character and doing like the big blueby arm move in the arcade. I'm like, holy crap, that's just Tetsuo. They're gonna get sued or something like that. And to my understanding, they did. To a lot of people's understanding, yeah, they had to remove this character from the game because he was so close to Akira slash Tetsuo and that character's likeness that, okay, we got to pull back on this guy because we went a little too far on the referential bullshit. So anyway, there's a version of the character that shows up later, right? There's another one that shows up down the line and his name is, I think it's Nameless. I think he shows up as another guy named Nameless in 2002. Is it UM? It's, it's the one that actually had the rollback netco. We went, we went through that game and we actually saw him in there. I'm like, oh, this is the Tetsuo guy, but he's not the Tetsuo guy anymore. Where's the Tetsuo guy? And chat's like, he's gone. And I'm like, oh! So anyway, he turned into another character named Nameless, didn't have crazy bloobity arm, like bio arm that he had in uh, in K49s. Instead, he had this like new outfit and he turned into spikes and it was all switched around a little bit. And then that character disappeared. Here is the not Tetsuo guy, right? Here he is from, and obviously this dude is a, a reference to, uh, to Tetsuo in almost every single way. And here's the other guy that shows up a bit down the line who is a replacer for K49s. Here's Nameless. But he just summons like spikes and stuff. There's some slight differences than the very obvious Tetsuo reference that's going on in the background. Anyway, flash forward to 2021. Everyone's under this impression. Oh, they're never bringing these characters back because they they flew too close to the sun. There was a, a, a legal absolute downfall that happened that threatened SNK and their livelihood. Suddenly, you know, the top leading uh, nation of Japan came directly after the King of Fighters crew and said you have to stop this this is on anyway there was so many stories about all of this shit and what i'm here to tell you is that it seems like it's completely untrue like there was some of the there was a, a recent interview that talked about some of this stuff with the snk devs and they're just like no that didn't happen <laughs> like or something like that they were just like nah no nope, that's nothing nope we just decided to take them out we, we made the character a mystery so anyway we're in 2021 almost 20 years after any version of this character has shown up and he returns, right? But he, he, he returns in a slightly different way, doing slightly different stuff with a slightly different name. I guess this is definitely the character that shatters some expectations. Maybe not in the way that I want expectations to be shattered, but definitely like, wow, they found a way to bring that character back that had been essentially like memed in KOF history over the past 20, you know, two decades. He returns in a different form with a different name and doing slightly different stuff. Let's actually watch the trailer now. KOF 15. When I saw this, I thought he was completely original. Dude, 
He's got some big ass goggles on, dude. Yo, hold on a second. I haven't even gotten a chance to chat about this. So, uh, Nate Tenkun, new girl, uh, boss guy, Cronin, K Dash, Rio, Terry, and Mary uh, are the roster. So, who am I going to play in this beta? Second open beta test. I wonder how the netcode is going to be, if it's going to be any different. Mm. Um, so definitely we're playing Terald over here. I want to play Terald. I want to, we can play Blue Mary. I played her a little bit in 14. Rio, maybe. Uh, K-Dash, maybe. Antonov could be fun. A uh, new guy could be fun. I think, I, I, I don't think you're going to get me playing Mei Ten Kun. You know what? I, it's so much to the point that I, I think I'm going to do my best to... Uh, just have my face cover his face. So there we go. I think that's better. Um, all these other characters over here, I think there's a chance that I might play all of these other characters in some function or fashion uh, throughout the beta, but maybe not the one all the way on the left. I don't think the one on the left is going to get played. You don't even need to see his weird face. Um, hold on. I have to, hold on. I have to make myself my ass bigger now. Uh, there we go. Let's continue this trailer. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, he's doing similar stuff to Nameless. And his arm still is weird and turns into gun cannons. I kind of like this guy. Damn. All right. I kind of like this guy. Yeah, I think Ro Cronin might be easily one of the best newer characters. Get ready for a fight. Oh, you can pre-purchase it on Steam now? Really? Um, I think he looks pretty cool. I like that he's kind of like a Scream Lord in this, you know? All the moves are from K... Really? All the I think I just never saw K49s a ton, and I think I saw a bit of more of Nameless because we played as him. Spike arms. All this weird stuff. It's so crazy that they brought this character archetype back. I remember him playing weird. Yeah, I remember trying to play K49s like very briefly, maybe during a KOF uh, legacy or a Terry legacy or something like that. And I, I was like, okay, nah, I get it. He's a, he's a Akira reference. It's like one of my favorite movies. But I think this is definitely going to be one of the characters I probably hover close to, at least one of the newer characters. But it's clear because this guy was done in KOF 14. This is a new character technically to KOF 15 because he is a complete new recreation. They're not like pulling 3D character models and moves from, you know, previous games. Watch the comparison video, link it to me. Prone in comparison with 99 to 2000, or this one to 2002. Oh, his arm does turn into a gun. I don't even know if I've ever even seen that. This is how little of uh, K49s I actually had tried. See, this was the super unapologetic shit right here. This was just like, oh my god. It's like obviously one of the most like iconic sequences from Akira and stuff, and it's just taken directly from it. Yeah, he pretty much has everything is the same minus the creepy goopy flesh arm. Every other move is pretty much identical. Get ready for a fight. Yeah, the multi-hitting, jumping, uh, spike attack, all this kind of stuff. Oh, wow. It's even against, well, I mean, granted, I think they uh, also primed this in the footage they were capturing. This made Tenkun, I don't think is in 2002. They're removing the body horse people would want to play him? I don't know if that's the case. I don't- hey, that, this guy doesn't scream body horror too often, to be honest. I don't like- I don't- I don't mind this design either. I don't hate it. I wish he did have the slicked back Tetsuo hair. I do wish he had that going on. Like the slightly balding, you know, Tetsuo hair. I think this guy actually looks cooler, you know? I'd argue... I'd argue what they're doing with this dude over here looks pretty good. 
You know? I think it's not bad. Could be the fact that the bitch has a red scarf, right? It could be. I don't know if I like his goggles. Giant ass goggles, but the red scarf does a bit. And you know why it does a bit? Because Tetsuo had like a fucking red scarf as well. You know what I mean? It's just a, it's just the little touches. I think that's like the, the bigger nod to Akira is that they gave him a Tetsuo scarf in uh in new kof and he didn't really have it in the old one this roster's looking healthy look at all these cool characters and shit man it's really hard to to go back and like imagine the size of this roster considering how many characters have been revealed over such a long expanse of time chat we've been getting character reveals for this game for almost a year K equals K. Ro in Japan means four. Nen means nine. Kronen means K49. No, that's wrong. Please stop spreading this. Ku is nine and Yan is four. You know what I have to say about that? I like the I like the fabricated information better than the actual reality. That story is way better than, you know, it not be true.